Hey, you're looking good this morning. This is Frank Phillips in the Brazil Times newsroom. And uh, here's what's going on today. I've got two interviews I'm looking forward to doing today that we'll tell you about uh, probably tomorrow. And it'll be written up and put in the paper as soon as possible and online. I'm going to be meeting with Susie French and Terry Barr this morning. They are involved in stockings for students. And what this is going to involve is you pick up a stocking at French Funeral Home, you fill the stocking with a suggested donation items from a list that's provided, and then you return the stocking to French Funeral Home by December 20th. And uh, some very important young people in our community will benefit from that. So I'm looking forward to doing that story. That's a, that's a wonderful thing. I'm also going to be meeting with uh, Tony Scalf this afternoon. Of course, you know her from Tony's Dance and Tumbling, or Tony's Tumbling and Dance. Sorry about that, Tony. But uh, we're going to be talking about the Snowflake pageant. Of course, that was held uh, about a week ago Sunday, and it's a big part of Christmas in the Park every, uh, every year. And uh, so I'm looking forward to that interview as well, because uh, Tony doesn't get much credit. She doesn't get a lot of uh, publicity for what she does, but I know that uh, hundreds, maybe a thousand people are involved in that uh, e event every year, the uh, Snowflake Pageant, because uh, not only are the kids involved, but of course there's parents and there's grandparents and there's uncles and aunts and friends and so forth and so on. And I know every year at North Clay Middle School, uh, the uh, auditorium there is uh, pretty well packed. So. I'm looking forward to that interview, finding out more about the uh, Snowflake pageant with Tony Scalf this afternoon. And like I said, then uh, we'll probably have a report for you here tomorrow, a short report, and then uh, you'll be able to read all about it in the Brazil Times online or in the print edition. Okay, Ron Brown has joined us. We're glad to see Ron here today, and I see my uh, internet connection is weak, so we'll try to make it through the rest of this. But in the Brazil Times today, uh, we have uh, a few stories. We have several stories that you'd be interested in. I think you'd be interested in most all of them. Somebody will be interested in the ones that you're not interested in, I know. But Ivy Jacobs reports on Broom Tree Ministries, Food for Thought. And uh, they're going to be doing a big uh, presentation, a big program, and she's reporting on everything that they're doing. And right now we have we are helping more than uh, 60 students at Staunton Elementary and Head Start, said Mary Trish. And uh, she uh, talked to Ivy during a recent event. Also, Broomtree Ministries, this is interesting because Broomtree Ministries is going to be our program at the Brazil Rotary Club this Wednesday. So uh, we're glad for that. And uh, I know the owner of uh, the Brazil Family Restaurant is uh, bringing those folks in for Rotary, and we appreciate that very much. And also, I ran into Jeff Bridgewater at Yogi's on Saturday, downtown Brazil, Yogi's, and uh, we got to talking. Come to find out, Jeff has been involved in the Christmas parade in Brazil for like 15 years now, and so he had some interesting uh, reflections on past parades and how this parade went, and uh, it was just an outstanding night, as we've already told you, but uh, I think you'll like to hear what uh, Jeff has to say in the pages of the Brazil Times today. Also, you pick up the paper, there's a coupon on the front page for, the, for a free appetizer to celebrate the grand opening of Wings. You know where Wings is, they're on National Avenue, and you can pick up that coupon when you pick up the paper today. Last week, on uh, Saturday, I think it was, we told you about uh, Great Dane giving money to help support food pantries in Clay City and Brazil. Well, today we learned that uh, Great Dane is also involved in presenting uh, uh, Jim Latta, a teacher at Northview High School, a check for $1,000 for the school super mileage vehicle program, which that is a, that is a super thing, if you'll uh, pardon the pun, because it is actually teaching students and it is actually experimentation to find out how we can get more out of every gallon of gas. And that's a, that's a wonderful thing. Also, the Clay Business Women... Uh, 
uh, presented a donation of gratitude, as they called it, to the House of Hope Friday morning for its help with the uh, reality store on October 31st. And we have a picture of some of the ladies involved in that in today's edition as well. And we're kind of going back to an old uh, practice of the uh, Brazil Times, I should say traditional practice, and that is once in a while having an opinion column uh, by a local author on the front page.